so I'm just gonna start out with intro like this because you're if you could see how you're placed it's quite comical but um, recently I've been feeling the need to update my wardrobe and my room and stuff and um, so today, yesterday, I got the catalog for Torrid and all their fall stuff has come out and I'm obsessed with fall. It is my favorite thing in the entire world. I start preparing for fall like <sighs> spring the previous year. Um, as soon as fall ends, I technically start thinking about fall again because I'm like, it never should end. I miss it. It's wonderful. I love it. Um, but so uh, I went to Torrid because I got their catalog yesterday and I saw a whole bunch of stuff that I was like, I'm in love with this. Um, and, um, and so I went today and I got a ton of stuff. I've never gotten this much stuff at one time and been like happy with everything, been in love with everything. I've never, like never, even when I was when I was younger and I was really thin and I was tiny and I didn't have any kind of like real freak out body issues. Um, I've, I've never taken this much stuff home from, uh, from a shop. So this was like super exciting. Um, so I was gonna, I'm doing this because I was gonna show one of my best friends everything I got and then she was like do a haul do a haul do a haul I want to see everything and I was like I was like okay fair enough like I already have a YouTube channel um may as well do a haul because I know that I always look for I don't know trustworthy honest big girls to say how stuff really fits and like what size honestly that they're in and they're comfortable in and they're happy with and like what how things are fitting and so I figured may as well just do that because, you know, uh, doing customer reviews on the website is good, but um, it's not quite the same as, I don't know, hearing somebody talk about it because you get a more honest opinion and somebody can kind of like just talk about it, you know what I mean? So um, I figured I would do this so that she, one, I could send this to her when I'm done with it, and two, other people could possibly benefit from hearing my honest opinion of things um and so i went to torrid but i've also started doing the dia box dia and co box um so i've only gotten one so far so i'll put the item that i got in that in this video and then also um today i went a little fall cuckoo and went into bath and body works and got some candles and so I'm gonna put those in here too um, just cuz just at the tail end just to be like okay like these are great and I'm fall fall ready and, and all that stuff and so um, so yeah so see how this goes but um I think the first thing I have to talk about is the thing um, the reason I keep like rubbing my legs is because I'm wearing one of my favorite things that I got it is when I tried it on I literally said it's like a sweater for your legs it's these really cozy really thick surprisingly thick like sweater leggings that are nightmare before christmas themed and so they've got little jack skellington heads and stuff on them and so i'm actually i don't know if you can I'm doing this really okay let's see yes okay so there's they're like this me awkward but like super cute right like they go up really high like my belly buttons way down here and so they go up like really high and they like fit really well they go really long and they're super cozy and I love them forever and I told my mom I'm gonna wear them every day of fall and <laughs> Sorry, my bed's really high. Um, so that was amazing. Um, I think the majority of the like pants and things I got today, because Torrid, the way they do it, their leggings and stuff are like size double zero, one, two, three, four. And so for like leggings and stuff, they 
I get a size four because then it probably fits like my waist because I carry really in the middle. Um, so I, it fits me in the waist and then in the leg torrid has a tendency to have really tight like legs around the knees which I find really really obnoxious because then it like pulls everything else down which is so annoying um but if I get the size four then it fits in the pants or the waist if it's in the like knee area and it doesn't start pulling stuff down and so the legs fit really comfortably and these are so soft like the material is really thick it's really soft and there's no like issues with like see-through necessity um and like the waistband's like really nice and thick and so it's like not gonna go anywhere which is really what you look for in a leg. <laughs> um so so yeah so i'm obsessed i would give these like 10 out of 10 10 out of 5 honestly they're so good um i highly recommend and they're who doesn't love nightmare before christmas if you don't i don't really want to talk to you because i love that movie <laughs> but um next i got these leggings that are amazing they have super like like i was saying towards waists like their waists are super wide and then also this is the front of them like you're you're looking this is the back of them and then you're looking at the front of them they have this like protective section at the front to kind of like hold you in that doesn't feel like so restricting that you're like uncomfortable and then it's like really thick thick legging material but these like fit so nice and there's such a cute pattern and color and stuff that I was just like okay yeah and they are size four regular. I think you can see that. Hopefully you can see that. Anyway, yeah, they're four R, and they. I grabbed them because I love plaid, like obsessively love plaid. So I have obsessive love of plaid, obsessive love of sweaters. If it's a plaid sweater, I'm done for. And then. Yeah, like skirts, like cute like bodycon skirts. Anyway, so. These were a win. I took, I was like, Haha, you'll be going home with me. Yes. Um, so these are amazing. They're like a thick, thicker material. And so I'm good. I can wear them. I f would feel comfortable wearing them without pants and without putting them under like a dress or a skirt, which is always kind of, that's usually the only reason I get leggings is to wear them under like a skirt or a dress because I don't want my thighs rubbing together because I have those lovely jiggly wiggly, um, thick thighs that tend to rub against each other and just wear away entirely which is uncomfortable to say the least um so yeah so those are amazing love them they went with a lot of the colors towards doing right now for this for fall are like this sort of like plum like purpley color and then like the gray and stuff and the black because they're just they're really good colors for fall and so a lot of the stuff that they have is like this this plumish color um so a lot of the stuff i got goes well with those which is nice and i tried most of the tops i got on with with these on because i was just you know flipping through next since we're on the theme of pants i got these um, what do they call them specifically? <laughs> They're vertical, virtual stretch zip, zipped, spatialicious. They're so shiny. Um, but no, what is which? Because Torrid has all of their like names for all of them. Oop, you're stuck. Why are you stuck? Let's see. Yeah, the store is just one of their like straight, straight leg. I don't know. It was like a straight boot cut, but it's size twenty eight R, twenty eight regular. It's like a darker wash, and they're like really stretchy, and they don't do what towards pants tend to do, where they like get tight in the knee area, like I said earlier. Um, they get a little tight, but it was so minimal that like 
because I had looked at another pair of jeans by Torrid, and I was like, no, they, they do the tight around the knee thing so strong. My only thing I don't love about these is that they're kind of a thin material, which is unfortunate, because I'm probably gonna wear through them pretty quickly, honestly. But luckily I got a really good pair of jeans from the Dia and Co box. Like that was the one item that I like loved. Speaking of, <laughs> look what I have to my to my left. Um, so I have these really dark wash from Dia and Co. Um, it's Morgan and Walker for Dia and Co. And they they fit so well. Um, the only annoying thing with new jeans is the button holes are always sewn so tight so like getting them on and off is a pain but I will <laughs> I'll get over that because they're so comfortable I put these on and they're so soft and so stretchy and so comfortable I was like I don't ever want to take these off these are these these must stay with me forever I must live in these um because they are so stretchy like so stretchy and like I don't generally like like skinny leg jeans and these go a little they're like rolled up and sewn to be rolled up um, like I don't know if you can really see it but like it's got the like hem so they're, they're they feel very like I don't know like rockabilly style with the like rolled up cuff um, and like they're fairly high-waisted so they feel slightly rockabilly but like they're so stretchy and so comfortable and like it's like that soft jean material I don't know if you've ever experienced that but oh it's luxury when you do um but I don't usually go for skinny jeans like I ignore them on the rack because I'm like no they just make me look round and like make look everything look like it's been like sausage sucked like up into the middle and it's like ballooned you know like that like when the balloons like got that nib at the end and you can like pop it and there's like or like suck it through and so there's like the ball on the end and like the the weird like like just empty space in between and it's just like this little like tail like when they make like a balloon animal and the tail has a little like bulb on the on the end that's what it makes me feel like I look like but but these have so many wonderful things about them that I was like, no, I don't feel that way. I feel quite wonderful about myself and I feel quite, quite good and quite sexy. So I was like, I'm going to keep these forever and ever and ever. And it's getting into the cold season here in Seattle. So, um, I'm going to get to wear these a lot. Um, but yeah, they're super comfortable, super, super comfortable. Anyway, um, Let's see, I have my stack of things, but I moved it to get up on the bed to show you my legging. So let's see. <laughs> stack. Okay, so. Oh. Okay, so first thing, just because it's on the top of the pile, is this little, like, sweater jacket that, like, just goes like this just to go over like a dress it's got like the cute little like short sleeves and it's really nice and it's thick and so it'll be actually like warm over so it's not like a full like cardigan it's just one of those little like short little wrap ones that kind of like just will cover your boobs just enough to so that your arms aren't like super exposed so, like if if you're like me where you ha hate showing your arms um, it's like the perfect thing because it'll go it goes over you know most things because it's black so you know it goes with everything but um yeah it's really nice it's really cozy really soft everything at Torrid this this time has been so soft I'm just like can I sleep in it forever can I just <sighs> but so so yeah so I got this because I got a dress which is amazing um and the dress has sleeves, but it also could, they're really like billowy flowy sleeves. Um, and so I could get very cold in them and this just felt like the right thing. And then I have another dress already that has no sleeves and I'm like, I never wear it because it has no sleeves. So I was like, 
hmm, this shall be purposeful for many things. So I got this, which is very cute, very soft, very cute. Um, then I got, okay, let go of everything else. Then I got this beautiful sweatshirt jacket, which goes very long and it has a hood and it's fuzzy inside. Like, I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but like, it's got that like fuzzy, soft inside and like at the front it's got the like double layering so you're nice and warm so when it gets windy it like double layers and it's so nice and its sleeves are nice and long they go like all the way down to like my fingertips and I got this one I could have I could have gotten it in a three but I got it in a four instead because it's thick and I was like, if I wear anything underneath it, it's going to be so tight and uncomfortable and restrictive. And so now, since it's a four, I have, because it's one, thick, and two, I'm going to be wearing it over stuff. Like, I have enough space to be able to, like, move around. And I have really broad shoulders, so I tend to, like, need more space because it gets tight and then it's like, uh, but uh, I can't with the stuff and the... So, this is so cozy again so soft it has really like deep pockets they like start off to the side and then go all the way front to the zipper like they stop like right here oh god they're amazing and like the buttons are nice quality like they're actually like you can kind of hear it like they're like metal and so they're actually good quality so it's not like a like a fakey like plastic like I have a blazer for work that's got like plastic ones um that are like painted like a golden yellowy color and they look kind of nice but you can tell once you're up close that they're like not like really good quality and these are actually like nice um so that was great so cozy I'm so excited to get to wear this um then speaking of that um dress here it is it is so pretty see like the sleeves are so like flowy and and nice and like the front goes down so like you know you are showing a fair bit of chesticle but but it's like super demure and it cuts me like right at the right here like right under the boob and then it flows out and it's super super flowy like oh gosh and like when you turn like I I don't know about you but when I was a little girl I used to love when I would have a dress that I could just like twirl in and it would like flow out like a flower or like a like you know super pretty and flowy and this does that and so I felt like a little like a little girl but it was also like a really lightweight but it's got that like that sort of soft slip material underneath and um and like the neckline's not very restricting or anything and so I was like makes me feel like a little girl but like a really classy beautiful little girl who has a nice day job who can pay her bills and and you know it seems like it's really like it's pretty enough to go to like a wedding or like a summer tea party or like you know you could wear it casual too like I'm gonna wear it um with one of my on my one of my trips that's coming up this year uh in November to visit my best friend down in Florida I was like I need to have a dress because even compared to Seattle even in November Florida is gonna be too hot too hot too hot so I figure with some tights so that my thighs don't rub together um, and a uh, cute little booty, then I will be set to go. And I'm very excited about it. So, um, that was awesome. I highly recommend if anybody's looking for, like, a really nice dress that, like, they need to go to a wedding or something, like, this dress is really pretty and it's good quality, so it'll last you, like, a couple events and stuff. Um, next, I think the rest of everything is all tops, and so... Um, so I've got two that are like this, um, oop, go away tag, 
the you can kind of see there's like the lattice lattice um, ribbon or or string or whatever you want to call it um, in the front and then it's got shorter sleeves that go I think about to like elbow elbow crease um, but it's so comfortable it's it's a soft knit material that's really good quality it's like a thicker thicker material and it goes it goes fairly long it goes like down to down to like where my like my hips crease and become my leg and my thigh um so it covers all of my stomach and I have a really large stomach because that's just where I carry it because I carry I I don't know I have a lot of stress and so it's all my weight has built up on my stomach and so like I I hate when I find shirts like a lot of women's shirts are made like super short in the stomach and I'm like why like I don't want a crop top I want a shirt or a shirt that's going to cover my top half of me and that to me is till my legs start and so so this does that and it's super comfy it hugs me in all the right places it's not like tight and and it doesn't make me look like I'm sausage rolled into it where I've got like rolls in weird spots it's just like a whole clings to my curves in like a really sexy way which I appreciate um so there's this one and then I got another one it's a longer sleeve sort of version of it, but it's a different material. So it's not quite as soft. It's more of a like typical t-shirt material. Get out of there, tech. Um, but like you can kind of see, it's got the lattice work at the front again. This goes a lot lower. So it goes a lot further, like almost down to your like, what is this called, sternum? Um, but not quite not quite all the way down to your sternum and I think it kind of depends on how high up you're wanting to wear it because I definitely like pulled it up a little further because it was when I first put it on I was like oh hi hey peekaboo girls how you doing um but it's long sleeve and it's got the like thick um oop, hair it's got the like thick like long sleeve cuff which I really like because I always I fidget with my sleeves and so they always wear away faster than other sections of my shirts and so that I really like. Um, it also is long enough where it's like I can like put it in my fingers and like in my hands and I don't know it's like an anxiety thing I guess but um, but it's so nice and again this goes very long. Um, the bottom hem isn't hemmed so if you don't like that it's just got kind of the just the edges and then like up about a half inch there's just sort of like a seam but there's no actual like like hemming it's just kind of I don't know if you can tell but it's kind of like it rolls up so if that's not something you're into like it doesn't it's not like frayed or anything but I know that some people don't like that style and so you know if you if that's not something you're into then I wouldn't recommend this but this is so long and so cozy and it even goes it goes so low it goes uh, in terrible angles I'm just not set up for this but it goes like all the way down here and it's just super cozy plain black shirt and you can wear it I mean you could dress it up you could dress it down like it's really it's really because it's good quality like it's 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 not super thick but it's not like paper thin so you're not gonna like tear through it easy um so yeah I mean you can you can dress it up with you know with a lovely skirt or like dress it down with jeans or or a slack or whatnot um so yeah so it's a nice one this one is one of my faves <laughs> my mom didn't like it so much but I love it um so like I was saying towards fall color is kind of this like deep plum color and when you're wearing it like it's it's a soft knit material um it feels fairly synthetic uh, synthetic but it's super soft um it doesn't mm, synthetic isn't the great word because it kind of has a negative connotation but it's so it's so soft I mean you can just tell that it's got like some spandex in it to make it like 
as stretchy as it is because it's very stretchy but um it's a really good length it's really soft it's a knit material and it's it's not super thick but it's not super thin um when you are wearing it though it does tend it's slightly see-through like I was wearing a black bra under it and I could see kind of the outlines of it but I kind of didn't care because it's it's it sits on me in a way that like made me feel really sexy and I was like who gives a shit like I wear a bra I have boobs like that's just my reality and so I was kind of like in the pros and cons column it just didn't have a lot of weight um because it just it just made me feel very very sexy very pretty and then so the front's very plain and then the back you get this really fun like lace and lattice work section and so you're like showing off your back without showing off your back and I like that because I like showing skin without showing skin <laughs> um so yeah so I really really like this also when on the side it's ruched um don't know if you can quite see that but like it makes it sit really nicely and bunch in all the right ways so it makes you just look really like really feminine and female and like I just felt super beautiful and it's not let's see it's about three-quarter length sleeves so it's nice um, not too long not too short and you can definitely dress it up or dress it down like you could wear it with a nice like black skinny jean to go to kind of like a sexy fun Christmas party or like a nice skirt like you could like you know put it over like a pencil skirt or something and it would be really nice you could also put it on with some jeans and just go out and you just feel really nice all day um and if you're worried about the um the see-throughness um you could probably put on like a black black tank top or like a black lacy tank top underneath and that would really really look really nice um underneath because it would you know really accentuate all the black that's going on um so other than clothes I did Tord has shoes that actually fit me which is amazing and I'm kind of in desperate need of shoes at the minute so I was like I love boots but I can never fit boots and so I was like okay Torrid show me what you're working with and they did they 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 did right by me so I've got these like biker type shoes that are really cute and like have a really good tread on the bottom these are size 11s because because yeah um and they zip and I figured I would get size 11 because then I could put some insoles in because these ones I'm gonna wear to work um because I just need some like plain basic boots and they're like a sort of a faux suede material it's really soft and nice um like good quality rubber sole as well um but yeah I mean their their current insole is fairly cushy but I just know because I stand all day that's my job um you know I work at the front desk of a hotel like I stand all day it's um it's I put a lot of pressure and a lot of strain onto my feet so I figure I have plenty of room in these to add additional insoles I also have really high arches so I need to like take care of those and so um at size 11 my feet generally if I'm perfect fit to the shoe it's about 10 and a half um in American U.S. women's shoes um I'm about a ten and a half. If I'm like perfectly fitting the shoe, that's what I am. But if I if I want to put anything in it, I tend to. Or if I'm in boots, um, especially ones that I don't get at like Torrid, then I need to have a size eleven because um, my feet just don't fit them otherwise. And I do want to put the insoles in there because, like I have said a few times, I stand all day. And, um, you know, it's eight plus hours of standing just on your feet and, um, the floors that are at my work are concrete. So it's really hard on my feet. And so I definitely have to put insoles in, but these ones are a little roomy, which is nice. So I have plenty of room to put the insoles in. And then when I do, they'll, they'll fit beautifully, but they're, 
I have really wide feet and these ones fit really well. There's no point in them where they're too tight or uncomfortable. Um, they're slightly loose in some areas, like in the heel. Um, and it's, it's really nice. I'm excited about these. Um, and they feel like the, the like faux suede material that they used isn't that really thin, is not that really thin, like faux suede material that a lot of other place, like places like um, Payless and DSW and stuff, like you get some like, or Target, you get the like really thin, like very fakey feeling, um, poor quality material. And that's just not these boots, which is really, really nice. Um, I also got another pair of boots, which are these adorable little monkeys. Um, they're so cute. So cute. And they're actually fairly comfortable. The insole that they currently have in there is fairly plush. Um, and they're wide. They look, it's so funny, like, compared to, compared to the other ones, like, they look so much shorter but it's just cause it's like taller by quite a bit. And like, I wasn't anticipating that. And like when you put them on, these ones look, because they're just like the flat, they look so much longer. And then you put these on and I was like, I'm not gonna fit these, there's no way. And then I did and they're like, oh, they're so nice. Um, and again, I got these in size 11 because I tried them on in size 10. Toward tends not to do like half sizes is what they said. Um, and so they didn't have like a 10 and a half in either shoe, but um, I tried on the 10s and they fit okay. Like they were comfortable, but they were really snug in the heel, like right in here when my feet were like, ooh, that's kind of snug. Um, but then I found 11s and I tried them on and I was like, ooh, this is a lot more comfortable. And it also leaves a little bit of room for me to put some insole in there because I know that, you know, I'm 27 and my family has a lot of joint issues and if I don't take care of my high arched feet I'm gonna be just up a crick when I get older so I figured you know and I also really love this style like I'm just a huge fan of like the old school my friend from high school calls them school mom uh, shoes where they're just like really cute really simple like old style shoes I also really love a good zip because then you're like, I can leave it, and it's beautiful, and it fits. I know that it's laced right, and you can just zip in and out. It's nice. I like it. Um, so yeah, so that's these. I'm in love. I'm in love. They're so cute. Um, but yeah, that's all the that's all the stuff I got from Torrid, and I showed you the thing from Dia and Co. Um, as soon as I get my next Dia and Co box, I will. I think I will show you that. Um, but last but not least, um, and the thing that's making my room smell really, really nice right now and I'm really excited about is the, I got three candles at Bath and Body Works, only three because I had to rein myself in. It was still $80 and 50 something cents and so that's, yeah, it's a lot to spend on the candle, but, <clears throat> oh Jesus, oh Jiminy, oh come to mama. Okay, um, so I think the first and foremost one I should start with is the one that is, a. Uh, the most aptly named for this season, and that's Autumn. Autumn. Yes, it's very lovely. Um, it's a three wick. All three of them are three wick. Oh, God. And I just got a whiff of it. <sighs> Sweet nectar. <sighs> it's kind of citrusy and sweet without... It smells kind of like like an apple, like a fresh crisp apple that you've just bitten into with a little, just like a hint of like citrus. Um, it's just a very fresh, fresh scent. And I'm in love. I'm like, I think as soon as I'm done with this, as soon as I'm done with you, I'm gonna light this sucker up. But yeah, it was, um, I don't know if you can see it, but it was 24.50. Um, and it is, how many ounces are you? It's a great question. Oh, geez. Oh, 14 and a half ounces. Yeah, this one's a 14 and a half ounces one. I think all of them are, um, because that was just the size that they mostly had was the, 
the 14 and a half ounces. So I got three of them. The next one I think is, um, I really, I love this packaging. It is so cute. Um, it's really plain and really uniform and I love plain and uniform. Um, I also like brightly colored because um, I'm a bit of a magpie. So like sparkly and brightly colored, I like too. But this I just thought was very, very autumn. And so it is leaves. Let's see. There is that. La 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 la. So yeah, so that, this one. This one's very spicy. It's a lot of cinnamon. Yeah, it just smells like straight up cinnamon sprig. It's so good. Because I love a good like apple cinnamon, like cinnamon. Oh God, for fall, that's like all I want. It smells like apple cider. Like, you know those kiosks at the, or kiosks, like the booths at pumpkin patches where they sell the like hot spiced apple cider? That's exactly what this smells like. It is so good. There's this, my Halloween, my neighborhood does Halloween really big. And um, I might take you on a little tour with me this year. I go walking, walking around it every single year because people literally, literally bus in like vans and cabs and like they bus in to trick or treat in my home neighborhood. And so um, what I think I'll do is I'll probably bring you along this year but I go wandering around with my mom because we just love seeing all the houses decorated and all the kids running around in their like outfits and stuff and a lot of my friends from growing up still live in the area and so we you know go visit them their houses see what they've done um but there's one house that's like a couple streets down from me and they always have like cider served like right in their yard and it's like oh like it's hot spiced and so it's got the like the apples and the cinnamon and the like n I think they put like cardamom and like cloves and stuff like in there oh it's so good but this reminds me of that so much it's so good oh my god okay yeah I need to stop smelling it I'm gonna get like candle high or something I don't know um but yeah next last and certainly not least is um one that's aptly titled for fall Happily titled for the love of a certain um, root vegetable. Um, is it a root vegetable? No, it's a squash. Oh damn, I don't remember. Anywho, it is the the uh, orange, orange, bulbous one that we all know and love. Um, this one is pumpkin patch. Pumpkin patch, the light is making it really hard to see, but it's there. There's pumpkins and pumpkins and pumpkins. Mm. All of these scents have cinnamon undertones. Um, leaves is the most cinnamony, but this definitely has some like cinnamon aspects to it. It's much sweeter though. Like it'll make, like if you don't like sweet scents, like this one isn't gonna be for you. It's definitely got, um, definitely smells like candy. Like it smells like, it's, I feel like it's got some like caramel in there, maybe. Oh, I love it. There were other ones that were way sweeter, like some of the vanilla ones. This one might have some vanilla in it. Because it smells similar to some of the vanilla ones. There was like a marshmallow one, like a s'mores one, and like a pumpkin vanilla. And I was like, whoa there. Um, but it's so good. Because yeah, this one, this one has more of like a cinnamon undertone. And so it's got a little bit of the spice and the kick to it. But it's also got the kind of sweet. I think it's one that like I wouldn't be able to burn for like extended 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 periods of time like I could burn autumn and leaves a lot I think I could burn autumn the most because my mom has is very I still live with my mom and she's very sensitive to scents and I think autumn is going to be like the least aggressive the least sort of least likely to give her a headache um but this one definitely is one that would like if you're prone to headaches from strong scents like this one would definitely I think give 
someone a headache and it's also very sweet so you would probably need to go buy a candy bar or two afterwards or before I don't know or like get yourself a big cup of cocoa and like sit there and um so it's nice that they I also like the lids let's see um this one's probably the prettiest lid pumpkin that's kind of cute like it's cute it's just a nice like plain lid but it's cute um got a little and then let's see what is autumn has let's make it oh god it smells so good um it says love fall which i do i very much do you know i do um so yeah and then let's see leaves doesn't have much it just says bath and body works it's very plain see nah. um but yeah that's my haul um this is long i knew it was gonna be i didn't want it to be but I knew it was going to happen because I'm long-winded. So, uh, yeah. I think I might do more YouTube videos again. I'm not currently dieting. All my previous videos were about me on a 40-day sugar cleanse. Um, I didn't quite make it the whole 40 days last time, but that's okay. I'm going to give myself all kinds of slack because the sugars and things, um, you know, they're just as addictive as because of all the preservatives and stuff in them, they're just as addicti addictive as other substances like alcohol. Because um, they do mess with your body's natural chemistry. And that's just, you know, that's the, the root of addiction. You know, there's emotional issues, which I definitely have. And then there's a there's the change to your body's natural chemistry which the sugar has done so you know i'm gonna cut myself some slack um you know i'm gonna i finally got insurance i got a great job so you know i can uh i can make changes i'm fully capable but at the moment i'm just gonna revel in the fact that i got the most amazing clothes um so if you're looking for some new items in your wardrobe definitely go check out torrid because so many good things so many good things so many so many good things i can't i don't think i could say say it enough um but anyways i don't really know how to to end this so i'll just say goodbye and i will see you again soon i've i've missed missed this and i've got some ideas for fun videos that i think uh i want to i want to put up i want to do um, but anywho, I will see you next time. <laughs> okay, have a good night. Bye-bye.